Property Express news brought to you by PE Life and sponsored by the Property Express magazine, Africa's leading retail publication on the real estate sector. If you want our newest edition, you can visit our website at www.propertyexpress.org for your copy. Now, a gentle reminder that the African Housing Show is coming off this November in the UK. And this is a package of an exhibition, a conference, and an awards night. And the exhibition is a free event. So kindly visit www.propertyexpress.org, register and be part. Coming up in the headlines, Joy Habitat Fair opens in Accra, chief remanded of a fraudulent sale of land. And in international news, HSBC Holdings PLC has removed all buy recommendations for stocks in the real estate sector. My name is Nanaya Ochrebia. And now the news in details. Habitat Fair opens in Accra, a three-day pre-exhibition display dubbed EcoBank Joy News Habitat Fair Clinic has been held at the Achimota Retail Center in Accra. The event, which seeks to create extensive awareness about the main Habitat Fair, which comes off on September 20th to 24, 2023 at the Accra International Conference Center, is under the theme Affordability, Comfort, or luxury. The event is the first of the two clinics put together as a prelude to the main exhibition aimed at creating a common platform for players in the real estate industry and prospective homeowners to network and also to explore new business opportunities. The next clinic will take place at the West Hill Shopping Mall off Accra Castle Road from 4th to 6th of August 2023. Moving on, Ecobank HDG Homes signed mortgage financing agreement. HDG Homes Limited and Ecobank Ghana PLC recently signed a partnership agreement to, among others, offer mortgage financing support to clients who are looking to own properties developed by HDG Homes or its subsidiaries. At the signing ceremony, Mr. Seven Owusu, founder and CEO of HDG Homes Limited, said the company is thrilled to announce its partnership with EcoBank on Kensington Heights. He further emphasized that the remarkable growth and development of the airport city Kumasi marks an exciting chapter in the region's urban landscape. Mr. Wusu expressed the unwavering dedication to creating a modern community that prioritizes convenience, luxury living, wellness, and innovation. He explained Airport City Kumasi will become a South after destination for residents, businesses, and visitors alike. Still in news, chief remanded over fraudulent sale of land. An Accra Secured Court has remanded into police custody Solomon Boibokwe, a.k.a. Ni Abuabu, the chief of Abuabu Oyibi, over an alleged fraudulent sale of land at Oyibi in Accra. Bokwe was remanded after he was arrested on a bench warrant. The prosecution, led by Chief Inspector Richard Amwa, informed the court that the accused had been evasive and that it took the police intelligence unit to track him down. The case investigator also informed the court that he had personally sent text messages to the accused and called him and his surety to appear before court, but to all no avail. He pleaded not guilty to the charge of fraudulent transaction and is suspected to reappear on July 24th. Investigations established that the accused person had no title to the land at the time of granting the land to the complainant. Please stay with us as we go for a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Now, in international news, HSBC Holdings, PLC, LSE, 
HSBA has now removed all buy recommendations for stocks in the real estate sector as the bank predicts a precarious situation. In the near to medium term, interest rates hikes have caused a surge in borrowing costs which have caused pain for Britain's real estate investment trust. One FTSE REIT tracker has underscored a 12% year-to-date decline in the sector. British Land, a commercial property company, and Land Securities Group, a real estate investment trust, have both been double downgraded to a reduced rating. British Land has recently pushed off the FTSE 100 blue chip index, having seen its shares fall by over a quarter since the start of the year. Stephen Bramley Jackson, HSBC's global head of real estate research, said the near to medium term looks particularly precarious. Real estate equity is factoring in further 20% plus four in asset prices and looming refinancing risks as a major concern. Commercial real estate has doubly suffered due to the persistent post-COVID trend of working from home. That's all for news. Thank you for staying with us and a very big thank you to the Property Express Martin for sponsoring for more news. Can you visit our website www.propertyexpress.org or you can also reach us on social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn at Property Express. This has been PE Live. My name is Nanaya Ochiribia. Have a good day.